Every single week, Wings of Dawn impresses us with a whole bunch of content that they have been working on over that week. And it's really great to see every single Monday they showcase this stuff. So, if you are watching this video and do want to check out the game's Discord server, it's probably best idea to do so. Because if you're watching on the Monday, they're probably releasing a lot more information. Timestamps for everything that I'm talking about in this video are on the screen now, so feel free to check that out. And if you are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. But other than that, let's dive right into it. Let's start with the dragons. I'm going to be talking about the Vulgan first, which is the dragon that we should be seeing in the first demo of the game. And by the way, folks, it looks like there could be some actual gameplay for the game coming soon. Maybe over summer, in a week or month, who knows? We will definitely or probably be seeing something like that, judging by what the developers are saying. Anyways, dragon news. We actually have baby dragons in this game. And a great thing about the baby dragons is they will be unique to their adults. They will look different. They won't be a small version of the adult they will grow and change over time when they get bigger and we actually have a clip of the Vulcan dragon morphing from adult to baby and back to adult this was showcased by a developer so it's obviously not a fluid transition it's just like a mouse drag to showcase it change which is really nice to see we also get a small preview of an animation where the juvenile is trying to take off now i have heard this technically means that at first the babies won't be able to fly well and you have to give it a bit of practice. As you get older, you'll be able to fly a lot better. So it's a really nice thing to see, of course. And I like that idea a ton because at first you shouldn't be really good at flying. You should be pretty bad then get better as you get older. In addition to this, we also have the Vulgans broadcast call with an animation. Alongside that, we also get the broadcast generic call and a growl, which I'll put on the screen in a second however we have two other animations which are a juvenile playful animation and an adult playful animation i'm pretty sure the animations are the same just different model variation you've got a, a sneak peek of the juvenile there which looks really nice with the detail on it too it looks absolutely adorable then you've got the adult as well doing the same animation which is like standard emotes anyways let's get into the sound clips and the animation showcase let's put them on right now On a final note for the Vulgan, the Vulgan has had a flight test shown off, which showcases walking and flight, which I'll play on the screen now, um, and I'll play a fragment of it after I've done talking because it's quite important to showcase. That being said, do bear in mind this is an extremely early test version, which is nowhere near complete. Speaking of dragons as well, there is a teaser of an upcoming dragon playable. This is obviously not a standard small playable. This is a big playable by the looks of it. Now, of course, the mess that is shown on the screen is not the dragon itself. It's the mess left behind by the dragon with a hint saying this. This is the aftermath of a new dragon. A nightmare that stalks the forest floor and branches above. It'll be a dragon you'll need to look everywhere for to ensure you do not not fall victim to it which is pretty cool i think it could end up being some kind of like stealth dragon something like that which will be really cool anyways we're done with dragons now let's talk about some other creatures other creatures are important in a game like this. There's an ecosystem that will be built around those stuff and it's obviously quite fun to see. First, we have the Scaife. Now, the Scaife is something I've showcased before. I believe it's had a name change, however. We see some animations for it. We have two hurt animations for the little fellow and then we have a resting and sleeping pose animation for this fellow as well, which looks really nice. Moving on from that, we have a new creature dossier for a brand new creature. This is the Black Death. Now, despite that really unique name it's not going to be a murderous creature albeit it is going to be quite scary but it's something that the humans have tamed as well as you can see in the dossier you can see that humans use it for its milk its pelt its meat and of course for being the standard workhorse like bison and bulls are for humans you know being able to carry stuff around lug carts around quite useful in that sense but a tasty snack for dragons 
Another thing, we have the Kirin. Now, you may know what the Kirin is. It's like a dragon horse. I'm pretty sure this is something that is also in Draconia or planned to be in Draconia. Which, of course, they're all just actual base dragons which is obviously fine and dandy this is a herbivorous horse based dragon i love the design for it we have two skin concepts one of them is from one of the backers from the crowdfunding campaign and i love the design of it i love the spikes i love the colors i love how nice it looks and the crowdfunding backers design is exceptional what do you guys think of these let me know in the comments down below of course this isn't a dragon game or a Wings of Dawn video without any humans because we have some human armor to showcase in the game. Firstly, there'll be wooden armor, which is something that can be created easily to give some good early protection early on in the game. After that, there is light iron armor, which isn't obviously the full knights in shining armor that we'll be seeing later down the line. This is some light mobile armor, which doesn't offer the same protection as the big heavy iron armor. So do better that in mind i like the fact that there is the variation here you've got different types of armor different types of iron armor you'll have the light the heavy and probably a medium one as well so it can custom to your armor layout and how well protected you want to be in case of mobility instead so it's nice to see and the final thing that I want to talk about today is mechanics. The only thing that was shown off mechanic wise is something that will aid players massively whether you're a human or a dragon because you'll be able to see the footprints of creatures quite standard for a lot of games but I'm not I'm happy to see that this is in the game because they will make an imprint on the environment which will fade over time. Of course we have screenshots and a video showing this I'll have them on the screen now and the video will play out a little bit after I've done talking so you can have a look at it and showcase it like I do in my other videos that showcase some mechanics like this but that is pretty much that mechanic footsteps will be visible and then over time they'll gradually despawn and go away fade away into the ground kind of thing I don't think it makes an imprint into the ground it's just a texture change that being said it's a nice mechanic there's one additional thing that I showcased in a previous video that I want to cover up again because we have more showcases of the map in the game. What we're seeing here looks like some natural formations which will help navigation as well as just progress in a forest with some rock formations, some trees, some grass and some watering holes as well for your dragon as well as a dragon for scale. I did want to showcase this really quickly because it looks really nice and it's a really nice addition to the game and it, I couldn't previously showcase this because obviously it had been released since my previous video and then obviously it's not a part of this week's news but I wanted to showcase it here as well so let me know what your thoughts are on the map design here for the game I think it's absolutely beautiful Anyways, guys, that's everything with the Wings of Dawn lately. That's the last week's information. There is some little snippets that I've missed out, so feel free to check their Discord server for all of that. And if you want to be kept in the loop for everything Wings of Dawn related, obviously this dragon game is not a dinosaur game, and of course I normally do dinosaur games, but you should know I do dinosaur, dragon, and every now and then the odd animal survival game for you all to feast upon. That being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. And yeah, I should see you in the next one, which should hopefully, in terms of Wings of Dawn, might be some gameplay. Anyways guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>